to talk football. Buckeyes take the field. First time Kent State and Ohio State have ever played a visit to the horseshoe for the Golden Flashes. Joshua Cribs, they kept on the move, but uh, we've got some guys that can chase you down. Will Smith there making the hit and putting a lot of pressure on Joshua all day long. Special teams jumps right in. Yep, Donnie Nicky came up the middle, well designed. Everyone did what they were supposed to do. Notice Maurice Claret had a key play, keeping their fullback there, and Donnie Nicky came through, got his hands on it. When you can get the ball at the 31-yard line, it's two weeks in a row, we started inside the 35 of our opponents. Donnie Nicky said they had it all figured out on film. He knew which gap to go in, and he got it done. Then to the offense, and Craig Prenzel, a hot day. That was a good-looking catch there by Ben Hartsock again, and, and uh, moving the ball down the chains. We wanted to throw the football significantly. We got down here inside the five, and just a base play, and, and Maurice Claret does the rest. Claret takes it in. Scoring is opened, and it's seven to nothing with the Mike Nugent extra point. And it's early. A lot of scoring in the first quarter. Bucks back at it on defense, though. Now here you go. You see Matt Wilhelm putting a lot of pressure. Our guys come up and go after the ball. Darian Scott did a heck of a job there, and we really squashed their run game a good bit of the day. Yeah. That was Beckles. No game. The big pick by Michael Dawson, and uh, he took it to the house. And I had just told him this week that if he brought a punt back to the house, I'd get him an offensive play. So now he thinks that this qualifies. We're going to have to discuss that. Does it count? I don't know. It's his first touchdown yeah, off of an interception, the fourth of his career, though, at Ohio State. Well, he's a big play guy, and we're excited about him. 14-0 the point there. Cribs again. Cribs is a good football player, but see Donnie Nicky in there, and Rob Reynolds coming up making the hits there. Will Smith. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he's a sore young man. Third and three play, Cribs takes off again, picks up the three he needed. Timmy Anderson making a nice play, and then, of course, Michael Doss was on the job as well. They ended up punting it down to us, and uh, we're back upstairs in the air. Craig did a good job of, of using his eyes there. He moved the free safety over, and, and uh, he called many of these passes by formation, and there was a big play to Chris. Gamble, one of his targets there, uh, he hit him a couple times on the day. This time, nobody opened. Smart thing. You know what? Craig is, is really a smart young man, and he stepped up. No one was there. And if he'll keep doing that for us, we have a chance to be good on offense. Maurice Hall, fun to see. Uh, his second year with the team, but first time he pops it into the end zone. Well, this was neat because uh, Craig Krenzel checked to that, and Maurice Hall made a guy miss, and, and speed, speed, and, and uh, it's great. Mo Hall's one of the great kids, and good to see him get in that end zone. 21 nothing at that point. Buckeyes enjoying it. Still first quarter here, and then back on offense again. Again, you can see we're down at their end of the field, and the fake toss and heck of a catch by Michael Jenkins there. And, and uh, you know, we did a pretty good job. I think Michael caught about four balls and Chris Gamble six, and the running backs caught some. And here you see Maurice Claret, uh, Shane Olivier downfield on the little screen play. And, and uh, Maurice does a good job of getting into the end zone. And uh, two times now uh, in the first half for Maurice getting in. 13, a popular jersey there with the fans as well. They're catching on. It's 28 nothing. Well, again, you know, a heck of a job there. Nice hit. Uh, I think that was A.J. Hawk putting the hit on there. Uh, they did a good job throwing the curl, and our defensive guys said they came out with a lot of new formations and so forth, but uh, there you see old Cribs. Will Smith hit him hard. Tyler Ever hit him hard. Bobby Carpenter's in there hitting him, and the guy's still working hard. He's a good football player. Working hard, but the Kent State offense not getting it done against that Buckeye D, and it's back on offense. We see McMullen early. Yeah, it was good to get Scott in the, in the football game, and boy, again, Michael Jenkins behind good protection. If you notice there, Scott didn't have anyone in his face, and it was good to get Scott. I think Scott was 7 for 11 throwing the ball, so we felt good about that, and we feel good about this. Mike Nugent banging him through the upright. We love seeing this. 3 for 3 on the day. With that, a 41-yarder, 31-0. Ohio State takes the lead. Now here we are over on the defensive side again and A.J. Hawk making the big play and, and I'll tell you what uh, he's an old high school fullback and he needs to hand the ball to the official but uh, we, <laughs> we need him getting in the end zone it's a big play. He hasn't been there before at the well, college level anyway. That's right. Will Smith on the big hit there and Will Smith is a great football player. Loss of two on the play. This one kind of a fourth and 12 long play. Great throw, great yeah, catch. It really was. I mean, look at it. He put it right there in the corner of the end zone. Great concentration. Had one foot in. And uh, Nate Sally, who had just broken up the play the play before, was right on the job. And they happened to get it done. Here's what you hate to see. No turnovers to this point for the Buckeyes this season. And that's right. And, and we were cutting back. We had a good seven or eight yard gain. And, and uh, they put their helmet on the ball. And that's something that we can't have. And it gave them a chance to, to move up in there. We lost contain. And so you can't lose contain on a guy like that because your whole secondary is distorted. 
uh, the play lasts too long, and, and I'll give Kent credit. Uh, they were down 38 nothing, but they did not stop playing football, which you have to admire that. Yeah, exactly. Cribs finds uh, Antonio King in there for the touchdown. The no huddle offense, we see it come out. Now, not out of necessity, obviously, to win the game, but a good time to install that and give the guys some learning experience. Well, we wanted the decisions to be made out on the field. Mm -hmm. uh, I think better decisions are made by the guys that are standing there and seeing how people are lined up and so forth. So I enjoy a no huddle offense, not necessarily a hurry up, but a no huddle, let us call the plays, let us get the personnel in, and um, it was a good experience for us today. First half like that, we can't wait to see the second half, and that is straight ahead on Buckeye Football Weekly. We're the last little bit was a little disconcerting. We let them in the end zone, which we want to get to the point where no one ever gets in our end zone, and we left the ball on the ground, you know, which is, is something that uh, you know we can't have if we're going to move forward against folks like Washington State. But we did come out and play, and I think we came out and played here in the second half as well. No doubt about that. You put the first team back in. Craig Krenzel, a quarterback, who cranking it up again. Well, again, good uh, protection there. He had all day. He found Chris Gamble over the middle, and uh, you know, we're moving the chains, and, and uh, that felt good. You go back to the Texas Tech game, and including his first 11 passes today, completed 12 straight today, back on the ground to Maurice Claret. Well, that was a good run. That was off of a lead draw. And, you know, when you're throwing the football as much as we were, the draw is a good thing, and, and the guys executed well. We got uh, stopped there on uh, third and four, so we went to the field goal again. And again, Mike Nugent put it through, and, and that's something that we're real, we feel great about. Real solid, perfect. 33-yarder, 41-14, Ohio State. Kenny Peterson and Tim Anderson making the play. And, and I tell you what, Cribs, the first time you hit him, he's not going down, and you better be pursuing. Quite elusive quarterback been, uh, compared to uh, guys like uh, Antoine Randall and things yeah. like that. He throw the ball, too. Well, no doubt. Mike Doss had to break on that one. They uh, got the first and, and uh, ended up uh, having to punt later in that series. Here we are back to the air. Craig Krenzel, again, good time, and he finds Chris Gamble coming over. I think the play was called a little out route to Ben Hartsock. They jumped him, and, and uh, Craig found the second, uh, the second read man there and boy there's one you don't want to see he was squirming for extra yards you know that's that happens when you do that and, and uh, Reese ended up fumbling that one he won't fumble dangerous time he generally covers up very nicely well, he really does there you see Will Smith making a play and, and uh, Will Smith is a special football player you need the defense to stand back up and they did because this is a miss that's right they they held him to a field goal attempt and and he missed, and, and that was a big thing. And we're sitting there 41-14, and they chewed up a little bit more of the clock. Got nothing out of it. We got it back. Here we go back to the air, and we go up top. Mike Jenkins makes a big catch. We underthrew it a little bit, but he came back and caught it, and sometimes those underthrown deep ones are hard on the corner. Exactly. And that was his favorite play, he said, after the game. I can see why. 48 yards on the pickup, and Kent State feeling flat out, down and out. <laughs> yeah. We uh, turned it around there, heading the other direction at the quarter, and Again, Mike Nugent banged a long one and, and uh, three for three on the afternoon. Yeah, ties his career high, which he matched last week, uh, two weeks ago, against Texas Tech in game number one, 45 yards away. And then the kickoff once again, and then uh, 10 kickoffs, I believe, all of them in the end zone. Well, I'll tell you what, his leg must be tired today. We'll have to give him tomorrow off. Three for three, <laughs> I think you'll do that. Band having a good time, the alumni band in town, and Cribs back again, nowhere to go on this play. Now they see Rob Reynolds. Will Smith, David Thompson, lots of pressure, Matt Wilhelm being put on them, and, and they stepped up and banged their field goal through, and, and uh, you have a 44-17, I believe, at this point. Yep, this time they make good on it. Maurice Hall then, the ensuing kickoff. Nice return to the 32, and nice when a, a young player responds like that. He got his first touchdown, thought about it for a second. Yeah, there. he really did. I think he tried to trick him. He tried to <laughs> delay there and then run around him, but Maurice Hall is a good back. He's a good kick returner. He's going to be a great player, and and uh, he knows that one of these days he's going to hit one of those. Sometimes when that timing is off just a little bit, that's when you spring the big one. Lydell Ross. Lydell Ross making some good cuts as he always did. Ryan Hamby let him in there. And the offensive line, uh, it's the second group actually in there right now. You saw Nick Mangle and Robbie Sims in for the first time in their college career. Nick Mullen again, this time to Bam Childress. Good job, Bam, catching the football. And, you know, he's, he's a guy that works like crazy in practice. And it's good for that second group to get in because some of those guys are going to be playing on the first group at some point in this season. 
Ryan Hamby hauls this one in, and then the young guy gets in the end zone. Well, that's a great thing for Ryan. It was a good decision by Scott McMullen. His primary target was covered, and he came back to the number two man. That was Ryan Hamby. First touchdown, 51 points on the board. Uh, first touchdown for Hamby. That puts a 51 spot up there. 51-17 uh, is the final. And those are the kind of numbers that you like to see. That's what you're shooting for. 45 last week, 51 this week. Well, our goal... If, if we ever become the offensive team we want to become is to rush for 200, pass for 250, and score 40 points. And uh, we didn't have the ball as much uh, this ball game, I think for two reasons. One, because our defense decided they were going to score yeah. with the ball. We didn't get those possessions. Twice, yeah. And two, uh, to Kent's credit, they mounted a couple drives and, and kept the ball about 37 minutes. But, uh, you know, we need to score points to be a great team. Defensive touchdown, solid on special.